Hello guys, in this lesson you will learn how to customize that email. So reset password notification, which is default by Laravel. How do you translate that easily? And how do you customize that template if you want to make it look a little bit different? So first, how to call that? It's a default Laravel project. So if you click login and then you click forgot your password, you get this email. Now, for example, what if your project is in Spanish language and you want to get that in Spanish? There is a great repository called Laravel Lang, which contains translations to majority of the world's languages, including Spanish. And if you go to JSON, look for Spanish, which is es.json, and you just copy that, copy that and paste into your resources Lang new es.json, paste, save. And then in your config app, you should provide default locale as Spanish. So locale ES. And then we refresh that page. That page becomes in Spanish and including that email. And in my mail trap, I'll probably see a new email. This for some reason is not Spanish. But the whole email is, as you can see, I didn't change anything in the code. I didn't translate anything manually. It's all in Spanish. So this is how easy it is to translate that in your language. And those JSON files contain pretty much all the system phrases you can get in default Laravel. If something is missing, welcome to contribute to that repository. Now, but what if you want to look different? So change that totally. That whole thing is inside of Laravel core, which is vendor folder laravel framework all of that and this is a notification class with two mail function and this is where they get the translations so to make it yours you should generate your own notification class and then do whatever you want with that so let's do exactly that php artisan make notification custom reset password notification create it successfully then let's copy all of it so we wouldn't forget any system things into here. Copy and paste. Just rename the class custom reset notification. And then let's add another line, for example. Line hello new notification. Something like that. And then how do we assign that notification to be fired? It's all done via trade called can we set password, which is also coming from the system and it is used in user model. So if you open your user model and then copy the function of send notification directly from the tray to your user model, like this, so we don't import, we need to change that notification, but before we do that, I probably forgot, yeah, namespace should be different, it should be app notifications. And then you change that reset password notification to custom reset password notification. And now we get back to our form, fill in the email and let's see the result. Okay, the email is sent, MailTrap received that and hello new notification. So this is the way how you can customize reset password. Just copy the trade function into your user model and then not only you can customize some language, but you can totally change that to mail. Instead of mail message, you can use Markdown, you can use Blade, you can use whatever email template you want. And similar thing is with must verify email. So email verification for registration is also in the same folder and also use the same logic. So to mail, so if you want to specify a different email template, you can use the same thing on to default email templates on reset password or verify email. So this is my short tip for today. If you want to support this channel, subscribe, click the bell button to be notified about new videos, which is almost daily now. And also check out our Laravel generator of admin panel called quickadminpanel.com. And see you guys in other videos.